Hola a todos, it is Megan Miller here with Aprovechar Language Solutions, here today to give you a 60 second history tip. And we are going way down south to the southern cones, so Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and a little bit of Peru to talk about mate. Now, mate is a drink, but is it's also a cultural activity. So usually you have a mate with like a group of friends or family, not a lot of phones, just really good conversation and catching up. Not to say that you can't drink mate alone, because you absolutely can, uh, not a prerequisite, but you usually see it with um, groups of people. Mate is the drink as well as the taza or the cup. Uh, traditionally, it was like a gourd, but you can get a mate cup anywhere. And then you have a bomba or a bombilla, or bombilla, uh, which is that metal straw. So it's both a straw and it's also a sieve, because mate is a drink made by soaking dried holly leaves with hot water. Uh, one quick pronunciation note, make sure that you say mate, m-a-t-e, or m-a-t-e, not mate. Remember, because mate is that preterite form, verb tense of the verb matar, which is to kill, and mate means I killed. So <laughs> be sure that when you're talking about mate, you are stressing that first, um, first syllable, right, mate. All right, so if this was interesting to you, and if you want to learn more, click the follow subscribe button. I also have all of my links below. Hasta la próxima vez. Until next time.